Can you react to Elise Kapil's video essay that focuses on you too? The left is too problematic. I've heard about this. I don't really fucking care that much. Uh, I mean, I don't really, I don't really do YouTube essays as you guys know uh, about the left, especially. But I guess I got a mention here somewhere, and it's like she's a fan of mine. I hear. Today, one of the most prominent figures of left-wing vulgarity politics is Twitch streamer Asen Paika. Coming from the Young Turks, he has built a strong fan base. He has converted a lot of people to left-wing values and is therefore part of the US political landscape. Hassan's popularity comes from his authenticity and rejections of both conservative and liberal politics. During his streams, he educates his audience on left-wing politics, including class struggle, feminism, trans rights, anti-racism, etc. He's been classified as part of the dirtbag left, which is itself described as an anti-fascist, anti-conservative, anti-centrist, anti-liberal ideology, anti-political correctness, anti-inequality, has disregard for civility, opposition to the wealthy, and support for redistributive economic policies. The dirtbag left isn't worried about not pleasing everybody. It doesn't care about electability. It rather seeks to breach politics with entertainment to Fair. make left-wing politics fun. But among all the antis, Fair. one is causing more problems than the others. Anti-political correctness. That's precisely this aspect of the dirtbag left that has caused Hassan Paika a lot of trouble. I personally regularly watch watch his content as I find most of his takes to be very good and I'm happy to see him stay strong and compensate for the influence of conservative institutions like Fox News, um, The Daily Wire. On the other hand, I'm sometimes taken aback by the um, Jim Bro casual misogyny and the fact that his lifestyle doesn't always align with his values, which is something um, I think people with influence should be conscious about. But Asen is left-wing. He's a socialist, he's pro-feminism, pro-trans rights, uh, pro-minority rights in general. And he's also proof that being left-wing doesn't mean being virtuous. And that is something people... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jimbro misogyny for working out. Didn't she say you shouldn't be buying expensive shit? Yes. Every, of course people say that. Everyone says that all the time. It is a, it's a byproduct of like liberal consumer-based activist attitudes, okay? It's just, that's what it is. I don't really personally care. I'll just explain it like this, as I always do, okay? Yeah, I buy dumb shit, okay? Of course I do. I, I, I like it, you know? It, it's not, I'm not buying it to, like, advance the socialist cause or whatever. Like, I don't give a f Yeah, no. I have money. I have a lot of it. And I like buying shit for myself that is, like, insanely within, like, my, my budget. And also, I think everyone should be able to buy dumb shit. You know what I mean? That's why I always get mad whenever motherfuckers are like, oh, you have an EBT card, but you're buying steak? It's like, why? Or when people say, oh, you're on the government dime, but you're buying drugs? I'm like, what? why not? Like, people should, every now and then, have the capacity to enjoy themselves. If they enjoy a little bit of alcohol consumption in moderation, if they enjoy a little bit of drug consumption in moderation, like, why the fuck? should people not be able to do that just because you're pro doesn't mean you should be you know you should only be living in the way that like uh people have decided for you and the same goes for you know what i do as well i don't think i'm like buying anything that is exceptional okay i'm not it's not like i'm fucking going around buying yachts or buying anything that's unethical in in regards to you know buying homes multiple homes so i can be a landlord or anything like that I don't like the austerity metrics uh, that we abide by or we have to abide by. I just, I'm a human being. I'm a normal guy. And I think it's fine. Saw people going crazy on a woman because she treated herself to an expensive meal for Christmas when she was homeless. Let, pe let people do them. Yeah, that's like, it's very, very, very frustrating. Bourgeois guilt goes to 11 with leftists. I have no guilt. I have no guilt purchasing stuff that I, I have the capacity to buy. And neither should you. Are you ashamed of being rich and should rich people be ashamed of it? I say yes. I think it's important to stay as humble as possible. So if shame is the mechanism that allows you to stay humble for the wealth that you have uh, generated for yourself, then good. Yeah. The Depop resellers are 100 times worse than you. Yeah, I saw a tweet. This is such a fucking Zoomer specific tweet, but I saw a tweet that said, Depop resellers are the landlords of our generation. It's such a funny fucking take, dude. I love that. Thank you for whoever came up with that. <laughs> Just spend money that makes you and other makes others feel good. Yeah. 
You are super patient to put up with this rhetoric. They're directing too much criticism to where you advocate for virtuous action when the right deserves this far more and even some of the left, but not you. I wholeheartedly believe you're consistent on the letter on moral grounds for the things you advocate for. You aren't telling people to spend as much as you anyway. I mean, like, dude, I, I, I make idiotic consumer purchases. Everyone does, like literally everyone does. And they do it at their own level of uh, finances, right? Everyone does it. I mean, every single person in this chat has done uh, an insane uh, thing that they've purchased. There. And, and that's perfectly valid. It's a part of being human, okay? I place no virtue in that level of consumption, especially when it's like frivolous spending. You know what I mean? Like an impulse buy or even something that you purchase that you want to purchase. You know what I mean? That you always wanted. Like buying a Porsche instead of a Tesla? No, that was not an impulse buy. That was actually literally incredibly well thought out. Yes. And I stand by that decision every day of the week. What do you mean? I bought a Taycan, bitch. It's like infinitely better than a Tesla. As someone who's driven Teslas, it's like, dude, I don't fucking... What are your thoughts on consumer activism? If it's like I only buy clothes from union-made sources, I mean, I don't. I try to source all of my... When I'm selling clothes in the form of merchandise, I try to make sure that that is as ethical as possible, okay? But like, the f*** do you mean? I don't buy only from union-made sources. Like, that's an in, in, insane thing. This does not mean that there is no cap. And I don't mean that in an honest stack type way. I, there is no like cap on what kind of spending is insane. Yes, I think that if I was out here buying like a fleet of vehicles, okay, multiple cars, even then it's like, it's just, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's like people, my sentiment, my sentiment on purchasing shit is that to just hyper focus on that. It's just a very expensive hobby. What do you mean? What's a very expensive hobby? When people shame you for buying an expensive item when you're not a materialistic person. Yeah, I mean, motherfuckers have Warhammer 40k figurines. You know what I mean? That shit's expensive as hell. Some people are really into cars. I'm not one of those people. You know what I mean? I'm not. So, those mischief red boots are insane, you gotta admit. Yeah, insanely ugly. But if I like a piece of clothing that I've always wanted to buy. Like, I talked with the Throwing Fits guys about this. <clears throat> when I was poor, okay, or when I didn't have a lot of money. Because there was points in my life when I had affluent beginnings, okay? My parents never let me buy anything, but it doesn't matter because I had affluent beginnings regardless. But when I was living on my own as an adult, okay? I wasn't f***ing rich. I wasn't even wealthy. I was actually broke as f And when I was broke as f I always wanted nice clothes. I just never had the uh, capacity to purchase them. Why are people f are treating this one criticism of you? Is she shitting on you? I don't... No, no, no. She's not shitting on me at all. I'm sorry. I wanted to mention this. Um, This person is not shitting on me at all. It's just something that I uh, think about a lot. Yeah, no. And, and it's perfectly fine for a fan of mine or someone who watches me and you guys as well uh, to, you know, disagree with certain things. Going to TJ Maxx to get oversized clothing that didn't fit like Mark Echo shirts. Yeah, I mean, look. The goal is to change people's relations with the means of production. The goal is not to necessarily can decide who gets to purchase what that's i think kind of stupid in my entire life unless i dramatically change how i make money i do not foresee myself getting to a level of wealth that would dictate that i am like a, a system changing level of wealth instead of i guess i don't know arming revolutionary groups in the third world or something i just use all the resources to buy yachts Crazy how much people bastardize the house thing too people to this day think that you bought it cash and that's some playboy mega mansion i mean it doesn't matter it's a nice house Anyway, let's keep watching. Leaving the religiously infused good versus bad, virtuous versus evil paradigm struggle to accept. The left wing movement. But I do agree. You don't have to be a good, virtuous person to be a leftist. Okay? I think we associate leftism with virtue because everyone deep down inside operates under the assumption that sharing is fing caring. Okay? It's a $2.7 million house. Motherfucker, you're saying that, but like your mom and dad are living in the same exact house. It's just not in Los Angeles. Okay. Do not misunderstand me. It's a very nice house, but like the only reason why it's $2.7 million and not $400,000 or not $500,000 is because of where it fucking is. And I have no control over the fucking housing market and I didn't buy it with cash. Okay. Regardless. Yeah, the dumbest part of the house saga is people acting like you pay cash for it. I know. People think like I just dropped three bills on a fucking house. Like I had a bag full of, I had a bag full of Benjamins and I just popped in and I was just like, ha ha, instead of funding the orphanage down the street, I've decided to purchase this home with cash. It's like, no man, I can put a down payment and I pay a goddamn mortgage. Shut the fuck up. Average house in California is 700K. Bro, California is literally the size of nations. You really think that, like, where I live currently 
is is the same as like the entirety of California. The fuck is this is people are so stupid whenever this conversation starts. Yeah, bro, Bakersville or Bakersfield. What the fuck? Sacramento? There are there are Fresno. There are plenty of fucking places where you can you can get a you know you can get a fucking you can get the same house for much cheaper. Why the fuck would I live there? That's not you know. This is my base of operations. This is where I live. Right, it isn't solely made of virtuous people and it doesn't have to be. Discourse concerning rich socialists. Like whenever some big leftist, usually Hassan, uh, buys something extravagant or whatever, shows off that he has money in any way, there's a conversation often had by conservatives, but also by uh, good faith leftists. I'm um, talking about how he's not an authentic socialist, about how it's, you know, it's hypocrisy or whatever. The argument that to be a leftist means being a good person. And no, it doesn't. It absolutely does not. But the point of leftism very much is not to come out with a new breed of human being, to pretend that we are somehow the elite group. Yeah, this is such a good fucking take, dude, because it's just like, no, I we watched this on stream before. It's true. Like, you don't. You can you can be a fucking asshole even, okay? You can be a fucking asshole, okay? And still be a leftist. It's just like ridiculous. Your values are what matter, okay? And like the reality is I don't even think you're a fucking asshole for buying a house. I just don't. If I did, I wouldn't have bought it. You know what I mean? If I thought it was immoral to and an antithetical to being a leftist rather than what other people misconstrue as being a leftist, I would have fucking I wouldn't have done it, okay? of the best people who just do all the best things and that's our ideology. All it is is fart smelling. It's a fart smelling discourse. That's my take. Uh, goodbye. What's the line where someone has too much wealth? I don't know. I don't know. People ask this question all the time. I don't think it's like that. I don't think it's the distinction made in the past was was obviously your relation to the means of production. I think that still holds a little bit of value, but ultimately, you know, can you got you are we are at the precipice of labor billionaires. You know what I mean? It is not a virtue nor a vice to go out and like can buy a house, especially a nice house, okay? Not. There is no there's no value associated with it. Does that mean that you can just can turn around and I don't know, uh, buy a chateau, a castle, buy a fucking home that like displaced the natural, uh, natural ecosystems and like displaced an orphanage or some shit. No, I mean, obviously there's like limitations to that. It's, it's more vibes based for the most part. And that's the reason why a lot of people use the vibes of, uh, a lot of people use their arbitrary line to say that's bad and whatever. But ultimately, I think that this has absolutely nothing to do with being a leftist. Now, something that I always mention is uh, being a leftist grifter, right? Like whenever people say you accumulate money by adopting leftist aesthetics, I find that to be strange because if that was the case, if this was a profoundly lucrative line of, uh, of work, you would have more people going left rather than going right. And it's always people going right on the internet. So, like, if you yourself are a leftist, how the f*** do you see the world every goddamn day and you see so many motherfuckers on the right with massive audiences, with $50 million f***ing uh, contracts that are being uh, given to them, okay, with billionaires lining up their f***ing pockets and go, no, nah, it's actually, you know, leftist entertainment is, is literally the grift. To be few, to be fair, there are a few leftists like Dore and Lauren Southern, etc. Jimmy Dore literally went right. What are you talking about? He went independent and went right. And the second person you just mentioned is unironically a white supremacist. What the f*** are you saying right now? Did you just use an example of people going left as a part of their grift and mention a white supremacist who worked with white supremacist terrorists and a guy who literally is just straight up uh, on his right wing tilt? I think deep down you have to recognize a cognitive dissonance that takes you specifically to live a balanced life as a financially successful capitalist. No, it doesn't take any cognitive dissonance to recognize that because you do not understand the fundamentals of the things I talk about, okay? If I was a capitalist, I would be accumulating capital, okay? I would dump the money that I earn, okay, on this website into accumulating capital. The difference between your home and a house that you purchase specifically to rent out is that one is a home that you live in versus a house that you bought as capital. But unfortunately, a lot of you do not understand this distinction 
And that's, that's fine. You literally come to me to recognize the distinction, right? Uh, you're supposed to not know. I get that. This is the fundamental misunderstanding. I think the metric is we can materialistically expect to provide this for everyone outside of capitalism. If yes, then I think there's no reason to not live your best life. It's not expensive but material excess. That doesn't mean no inequality, just less waste of resources. We can afford to put everyone in a house as nice as yours. We choose not to. Yeah, I mean, maybe not think single family uh, zoning, probably, but you're a priest and a politician and father to 27K at this point. Big bro. I am not a priest. I'm not a father figure. And I'm definitely not a politician. In FD Signify's recent video, Hassan commented on the phases of cancellation he faced and concluded the following. People uh, make it seem like uh, you're a bad person, you're a villain, you're, you're right. immoral. Uh, they have to moralize their content consumption and they have to also moralize like the, the kinds of content that they don't like. You, and this is a, ironic because this is a very liberal tendency because um, liberals have no way of doing materialist analysis. It's antithetical to their worldview. And therefore, they like to uh, they like to harp on cultural signifiers, and uh, ironically, that's why you get this like my consumption is saying something about my morals. That's why I'm consuming good things and not bad things. That's why there's so much cultural analysis. Now, the criticism that is addressed to Hassan is often the criticism addressed to the debate bro sphere in general, and I want to separate Hassan from that sphere in a way. Vulgarity is no longer used as a way to fight against the powerful to appear authentic, but rather to distance oneself from the wokes. In other words, political incorrectness becomes synonymous with hate speech. So we had three things happening at the same time. One, the respectable left, party politics left, rejects vulgarity to appear electable, legitimate. Second, the woke left, I hate the term, but you know more or less what I'm referring to, um, tend to have a very strict moral compass to ensure the lefting movement is as virtuous as it can be. And third, the not like the woke leftist, um, that don't believe in morality, are okay with being perceived as evil, and tend to turn vulgarity towards the powerful into political incorrectness against the powerless. And while that does not constitute the left in its entirety, it is the image people have of the left. That's why I wanted to make this video, to remind ourselves of the people who don't fit into those boxes. Those who fought against the powerful using average people's tools, vulgarity being one of them, and who knew what they did was wrong according to most people's standards of what is right or wrong, but who did it anyway, opened doors and said what most people were scared to say out loud. Those people did not believe in objective morality, but they believed in doing what they thought was right for them at that time. And that is exactly what we mean with a term like avant-garde, where the- Yeah, I mean, look, She's right. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to conduct myself in a way that is, uh, you know, appropriate by everyone's standards, but I shouldn't need to. I'm just doing my own thing. How about you do yours? You know what I mean? That's, that's all I got. Your vulgarity makes you appealing to right wingers. Good. Yeah, exactly. Like I'm a human being. I'm imperfect. I make idiotic fucking purchase decisions. And ultimately, if you think that that says something about my personality and you can't fucking support me, then that's fine. 